Okay, Alan, thanks for having us today. And uh, we're looking at the brand new 100 gigahertz oscilloscope. Tell us some key specs about this uh, intense instrument. Yes, sure. So, uh, as you mentioned, it's 100 gigahertz. First 100 gigahertz oscilloscope uh, ever. So it's a 100 gigahertz bandwidth on, on one channel. Uh, we sample that at 240 gigasamples per second um, using our uh, DBI technology to take a 36 gigahertz platform and then to just about triple it to 100 gigahertz. That's a pretty insane bandwidth and sampling rate. So what are we looking at here? So what we're looking at here is the analysis of a pulse laser. So we have here the Kalmar uh, pulse laser puts out about 100 femtosecond laser pulses. So we have that going into an optical attenuator and then over into a photo detector. Uh, and so we then digitize these pulses. And so over here on the right side of the screen, uh, we have uh, the acquisition of the, the pulse. And then we're doing some analysis to then uh, show you the, a zoom of the pulse along with some interpolation uh, and then an integral so that we can measure now both the width of the pulse and the rise time. So for the width of the pulse we can get about a, a 7.8 picosecond wide pulse and for the rise time we're measuring 4.1 picoseconds. These are, these are amazing small numbers to be able to use an oscilloscope to, to acquire and analyze this type of signal. And I guess what we're really measuring here, or the limitation on the rise time, is going to be the photo diet and uh, yes. not the system or the laser. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, so it's about a 70 gigahertz uh, bandwidth for the photo detector. Okay. And uh, it seems like I can use this oscilloscope in a different configuration uh, with more channels at a lower bandwidth also. Correct. Right. So we can use this scope uh, as one channel at 100 gigahertz. Uh, or you can configure it to show, uh, to use four channels. Um, at 36 gigahertz each, and there's also a mode where you can use that one input at 65 gigahertz, but then also have two additional 36 gigahertz channels. Oh, very nice. So what's the computational power of this uh, insane setup? Wow, that's a big question. So uh, the, the MCM, the top box, is our master control module. Mm -hmm. This has the computer and um, contains a server class uh, a Xenon CPU, um, uh, something like 24 cores, and looks. we have uh, the scope set up to have a maximum amount of acquisition memory of about one and a half gigapoints wow. on this one channel. Wow, that is insane, definitely. So we, yeah, we can do a lot of processing, um, since it's a server class PC, we can take these signals and then do a lot of analysis such as uh, FFTs, uh, additional math, eye diagramming, jitter analysis, and so on. Just like on the uh, lower end scopes, obviously I'm not limited to the functions you guys have built in here. I can use MATLAB on the system and just uh, build my own formulas. And with that yes. computational power, uh, that would probably be pretty fast. Yes, yes. A lot of customers do just that with the high end scopes. Uh, they use the Lab Master quite often as, as a digitizer. They take the data off the scope and, and for developing their own MATLAB uh, algorithms for DSP. But they could take those MATLAB algorithms and they can run them in the scope using our uh, XDEV capability, where a math function can be configured to run a script. Or, um, and that script could be taking signals from four different channels. For instance, if you have uh, a dual polarization QPSK signal and you're wanting to work on your analysis for polarization demultiplexing. So you could use your MATLAB algorithms right in the scope and tune them up as you're running. So as far as optical analysis is concerned, especially with 100 gigabits per second Ethernet and such, it's probably a scope for that target market. Um, does it have inbuilt functions like carrier recovery uh, for uh, constellation diagrams and such? Yes, yes. So we have a software package um, that we offer for optical modulation analysis. Mm -hmm. And we work with a, a company called Coherent Solutions mm -hmm. um, that manufactures an IQ uh, in a, a coherent optical receiver, the IQ Scope RT, uh -huh. and we've worked very closely with them. So they've written a lot of the analysis that we have in the optical modulation analyzer, which includes digital signal processing to do carrier recovery, as you mentioned, as well as the polarization multiplexing and and um, dispersion compensation. Wow. So if I want one, who do I need to call, and uh, how much money do I need to bring? Oh, okay. So uh, the 100 gigahertz, the uh, the list price we have for that is $900,000 for the acquisition module. And so with the two boxes together, 
it's roughly roughly a one million dollar list price. So a typical case of if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. <laughs> I, that would be that would be correct. And so we find that there's a lot of interest for the product. Um, there are a lot of customers who um, who are always looking to be at the forefront of R and D, and who are looking to uh, and who are needing the fastest oscilloscope that's out there with the high sampling rates, 240 giga samples per second, 100 gigahertz, uh, no one else has that. So they want this scope to be able to take and, um, and develop coherent optical receivers. Um, pre previously, the bandwidth of the scope was a limiting factor, right. um, but now the bandwidth of the scope is more than the bandwidth of, these, uh, of the receivers. So uh, it opens the door to increasing the um, the forefront of development of those types of optical products. So is that your primary customer for this oscilloscope, the optical industry? Yes. Okay. How much of military is uh, on there, if you can say? Well, the military, they have a habit of, of wanting to get also to have the best products uh, to see what they wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Uh, and so uh, there is certainly interest in military and aerospace, as well as um, the traditional customers for high-end scopes as well, for serial data analysis, for anyone building a communication channel, be it optical or just simply electrical. Uh, the bit rates in communication channels are constantly increasing, and so oscilloscopes need to keep pace as well. When the scope was released, at first I thought, oh, that's a pretty niche product, and then I thought about the optical industry and thought, no, it's a very specialized product, mm -hmm. but uh, probably there's a big market for that. It's very interesting. So who do I need to call if I oh, want one? So uh, contact, us, contact us at, uh, at Teledyne LaCroix. Um, for this specific scope, we actually have an email address, 100 gigahertz with abbreviated, 100 GHZ, teledynemacquery.com. Uh, also, you can contact our, our sales offices here uh, and around the world, I should say. Um, our website has all those phone numbers, 1-800-5-LaCroix. Um, 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 I might be missing We'll verify that before we put that out. <laughs> right, so, uh, <laughs> yes. All right, well, thanks for the demonstration. Thanks for having us here. My pleasure. Thank you for coming and uh, looking forward to uh, working with you and to, uh, to having uh, lots of people come and look at the scope and, and, uh, and, and to purchase it. All right, thanks.